Good afternoon, all. Camelback Trading that old coming to you this Wednesday afternoon, August 30th. We are looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ESNQ. So, on a day when possibly we were looking for consolidation after that huge trend day up yesterday, we did not get it. We got consolidation in today's intraday, but certainly not in the daily or anything else. We barely got into yesterday's range early in the day in A, B, and C. Other than that, we spent the entire day higher um, as the bulls kept pushing. Look at all this. All the volume, everything. TPO, volume pock, all up here. They did throw a little curveball in J period when they lowered pock, um, which kind of kept me probably out of a bigger trade on the afternoon pullback. Um, but we'll go into that in a minute. Righty ends, 11 wide. With an afternoon pullback in J, they have a very nice P-shape for short covering. And QN's nine wide. They're pretty much a P-shape. And so are we in ES and SPY. Um, as it's not the prettiest P-shape, but kind of for short covering. And we end with an afternoon pullback in J and 10 wide. And then Q has a pullback also in J. Not a big P&L day. Um, so what happened today? Well... A, uh, B period after the housing number came out, market popped A's high and automatically came down and ripped down pretty hard. So basically, you had a nice liquidation break after from the longs in A and in B period. That started. The market goes off C and D. That's what, when that happens, the algos get all frisky and agitated. They bounced around for two time frames. And then we went back to doing what we were doing earlier. We grinded higher in E, F, and G. We took out our I, B, I. That's the only time we came out of B's range today. We saw a couple of points in G period. Now, E, S never got close to that on the weekly high. Spy got within three cents of it. Then the market got too long again E, F, and G. And they rolled over again and got rid of them. The one difference at that point is POC was lowered. The TPO was lowered at that point to around E's low as you can see by this yellow bar, right? <clears throat> it had been raised from E up to here, back down to E, but then they raised it again. So it was really kind of a curveball on me because I did not get long. I did make money on a pullback in J and K, but not a lot um, because I thought with the pop being lowered, um, I was waiting for more of a pullback to have a better, better odds when the market went back to say E's low. Um, as far as anything else, so I only made six points in ES today, but again, I'll take that. NQ, I was up 30. That all happened in I period when I took the uh, short to break H's low. That was a nice one. But then because we had lowered POC in ES and NQ's POC really had never been raised, I took a short in NQ and K, and it cost me 10 points. That's it. So net, net, not a big uh, money day. Um, bulls have to be happy, but remember, these are fragile traders. So after PCE tomorrow and non-farm payroll on Friday, we'll see if this bull run continues or not. As far as destinations, on the downside, ES, we have 23.50 is 10 wide, 13.75 is our afternoon pullback low, and 01 is our daily low. For the upside, we have 30.75 is today's high. SPY, 451.67 is today's high. Downside destinations are 450.95, 10 wide from today. 449.98 afternoon pullback low. And today's low of 448.78. We never got close to any of those downside destinations from yesterday. We held the entire triple distribution day intact. And then on the chart, one day to go in a month. So it's a two-month balance. And it's basically um, 459.44 to 4.33. So it's a 26 and a half dollar balance, just under. That will be our balance going into September after tomorrow, unless we have a massive move tomorrow. The weekly, I am now calling firmly up. We came out of an inside week to the upside. So the weekly is up, and the daily is certainly up. One time framing up now, three days. Volume pretty light today. Right now, only 63 million. So again, at some point, you'd like to see some fresh blood come in, especially uh, uh, if they like what they hear tomorrow. 
and uh, with the non-farm payroll on Friday. Since the market's trying to go higher, my thoughts are, if they don't like what PCE and non-farm payroll gives, they'll give this all back. But if they're pretty much in line, well, the market's trying to go higher, so for my money's worth, the market will continue to grind higher then, um, especially going into a uh, three-day holiday week and then next week. This week and next week are big vacation weeks. So again, if nothing upsets this apple cart, the market should continue to grind higher. Hope you had a good day trading. Enjoy your evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.